Hey y'all, out here at uh, Lingenfelter Performance Engineering and they've got the uh, new SS 2014 SS in it. And this guy had it sent in and he had the motor taken out and had a 427 put in it. How cool is that? Now it's raining out so I can't get a long interview and it's sprinkling out. I want my equipment to get wet. But anyways, let's run out here and have Jeff just show it to us for a second. Just a quick video, folks, it's sprinkling rain, so we can't spend a lot of time out here. But the new SS uh, Chevrolet is out, and uh, Jeff is here to tell me a little bit about uh, what Lingenfelter, what are you, uh, it's hard to wrap your mind around. This one doesn't even have the same motor in it. No. This, <laughs> this guy bought, spent the extra money to get an SS, and then sent it right here and had you take that out and put something else in it. What have you sure. dropped in here now? Sure, we, uh, we did our naturally aspirated 427 package. It's uh, essentially a different short block. We see and see the LS3 cylinder heads. Um, use our GT11 camshaft, where we claim 570 horsepower at the flywheel. But uh, naturally aspirated 427 uh, with an existing LS3 top end. What kind of horsepower did it have baseline, you remember? I don't recall the baseline, but these typically come in, I think, around 430, 430 horsepower baseline. Wow. Oh, and and you, 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 what's this package called? A motor swap? Uh, that's just our 427. Uh, one of our options on our right. on our page, uh, 427, uh, 570 package. We also have a 427 with LS7 cylinder heads that is going to be a little bit more money because of the LS7 top end, but we can do our rendition of the, the 630 and 660 packages on this also. This would be a wet sump, not a dry sump, like the Z28 and the Z06 packages. I gotcha. Have you driven any of these cars yet? Nope. No? no I haven't driven these. It's cool though, I mean, that's a whole segment, that sports sedan, you know, I'm glad to see General Motors coming out with something to compete in that. Yes, sir. Because these things are supposed to be hot. Oh yeah, yeah. they're neat little cars. Very cool. And then they have, they you have all these packages on your website too. Yes. Can you open the door and let me see inside? I've never, I've never shot one of these at you all. Bet. Oh, that's cool. Now, was this another one brand new that came here? Yeah, this had a few miles on it. I think the customer's driven it a little bit. And that's what it's called, an SS. Mm -hmm. Just a Chevy SS. Chevy SS. Man, that is nice. Why does everything come in white first, you wonder? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All the first ones seem to be white of everything. Right. No, that's cool, man. Now, if you didn't want to go with a full motor swap, what's about the most you think you can get if you just left that? Um, we know we can do a supercharger on it, like a Magnuson supercharger. That'll make around 600, 610 horsepower. We can do, also do our heads and cam package, which is about 525 horsepower. But for the money, I mean, you're going to spend 10, 11 grand for a Magnuson supercharger and 600 horsepower and drive it anywhere and everywhere. So what would, what's the advantage? This has got five something? This has uh, about 430, if I recall. After you've done the motor? No, no, no stock. Right, yeah. 570. Yeah, and this one has 570. Right. right. So what would be the advantage of doing this versus just strapping a supercharger to one? Uh, most, a lot of guys want the big cubic inch, naturally aspirated uh, engines. Oh, so this one's just, yeah, I got you. Yeah, I got you. That's, yeah, they yeah, want yeah, the yeah. big cubic inch. They don't want a supercharger. Yeah, they don't want a supercharger. They want to do it with uh, naturally aspir I got aspirated you. components. Uh, I got you, I got you. Sure, whatever makes you happy. Lingenfelder can do it. That's what I'm saying. If you like, if you like a little air, extra air put in there, we can do that. Otherwise, they can make horsepower just off what you got. Man, that's a cool car. Brembo brakes and everything. I'm gonna have to check these things. I knew they were out, but I just don't know much about them. Jeff, as always, brother, I appreciate you so much, man. Thanks always for letting me come out there. Come by. Thank you, brother. Yep. Folks, there you go. There is the. Uh, what are these? 14s or 15s? Uh, these Everything's 14. I don't know. <clears throat> There's a 2014 SS, uh, Chevy SS out here at Langenfelter with a motor swap in it, man. How cool is that? Anyways, hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya.